James Draven. Uh, this is a tutorial request uh, from several users uh, how to import static meshes from Blender into the UDK. Uh, I've already gone and made a simple little scene for us to work with. Alright, um, if you check the description, I have included the link to the ASE exporter uh, that you will need to get the mesh in to Unreal. Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do is go on ahead and fire up Blender. I already have mine up and ready to go. Alright, we'll go on ahead and delete our cube. Uh, space, add mesh. I'm going to add a UV sphere. Okay. I'm also going to go on ahead and set it to smooth. And we need to apply a material to it to work for it to work in uh, Unreal. Alright, I don't have the mesh in my plugins folder. I have it on my desktop. So I'm going to right click, split the window. For those of you that don't know much about Blender, you just select in between these two headers right here until the arrow, that little arrow pops up. Right click, split area, and then set whatever size you would like. Alright, don't need that big. Alright, I'm going to select my text editor, text open. Going to go to my desktop, select my Python file, open text. Alright, so now I'm ready to export, except for due to um, sizing differences or scaling differences, uh, in order for it to be big enough to where I don't have to scale it up a massive amount in uh, Unreal, I'm going to go on ahead and hit S on my sphere, type in 20. Alright, that should be plenty big, I think. <laughs> Alright, with our sphere selected, I'm going to go to text, run the Python script. I'm going to drop it to my desktop, call it sphere.ase, export the ASCII scene. You can leave everything as default. Hit OK. Alright, now jump back over to Unreal. Go to your content browser under View, Content Browser, Content. Blah, blah. Sorry, let me do that again. View, Browser Windows, Content Browser. Alright. I still have that up from the last tutorial. Alright, go on ahead and go down and click to Import. Go to the desktop. Select the sphere. I'm going to put it in a package called Blender. Hit OK. Ah, there's one thing I managed. I forgot. Very sorry. Uh, if you don't want that error, go back to Blender. Go into edit mode by hitting tab. Hit U. Unwrap smart projections. This uh, UV unwraps the UVs. Alright, go on ahead and export it again really quickly. Uh, sorry about that. I totally forgot about that. It, w it would probably still work. Well, it would, but it wouldn't work as well. Alright, so let's go on ahead and import it again. I'm going to put it in package blender. Hit OK. Ta da! Alright, there's our sphere. Alright, I'm going to automatically generate an auto convex collision on it. Alright, once that's done. I just go ahead and drag and drop it into the scene. As you can see, it's still very tiny. I'm gonna select a new material for it so it'll look all cool. Okay. Now I'm going to scale it up just a tiny bit. So, there we have it. We have our sphere. It's not UV wrapped too properly, but it works. If we want to add a collision to it, we just double click it in the static mesh adder, actor. Go to collision. Everything should already be selected. I'm going to rebuild the lighting really quickly. Okay. 
as you can see, we can walk around and not go through it. Okay, so there you have it. That is how to import a static mesh from Blender to the UDK. Um, thank you.